good morning students in the earlier video i have discussed about what are the steps for constructing a b tree so in this video we will discuss one example for better understanding so let me read the question construct a b tree of order 4 so they have given the order value as 4 with the following elements 6 10 5 so on we using these elements we have to construct the b tree and the order is equal to 4 okay so now let me start the procedure if the order is equal to 4 the root node can have 2 to 4 children am i right or wrong root node can have 2 to 4 children and it can have 1 to 3 keys meaning is that it can have minimum one keys and the maximum is it can have three keys so this is about the root node and the internal node can have p by 2 which is 2 to 4 children it can have internal node can have 2 to 4 children which is nothing but p by 2 to p meaning is that it can have two children can be minimum and maximum it can have four children so that it can have minimum one key and maximum three keys and leaf node can have one to three keys meaning is that minimum it is one and maximum is three keys so with this information where before constructing the b trees if they have given the order you have to calculate what is the minimum number of keys maximum number of keys minimum number of children maximum number of children and all these things for root node internal node and leaf node you have to do it then you can start the construction of the b tree so now let me discuss about it so first value i need to insert is 6 okay so if you see that all the nodes can have maximum of 3 keys so i will have a space of 3 keys i can fit so the first value i am fitting is 6 yeah enough space is there so i will fix the 6 here okay the next 10 i need to place where i have to place the 10 10 i can place after 6 only when after 6 any space is there yes a leaf node can have maximum up to 3 keys till now only one key is there and two spaces are there i can easily fit this ten here is it clear so 6 and 10 i uh, have inserted in the b tree now i need to insert the 5 in the b tree so where i have to insert the b tree means the element 5 in the b tree all the element should be in the increasing order if i keep 5 here it will be not in the increasing order so where i have to insert i have to insert the 5 here 6 10 like that i need to swap the 6 and 10 such a way that 5 can be inserted at the starting so that all the elements in the leaf node are in the increasing order so till now it is okay now i need to insert 20 if i insert 20 where i have to insert the 20 i have to insert the 20 here because it will be 5 6 10 20 they are in the increasing order but can i insert 20 here no i cannot insert because why any node can have maximum up to 3 keys are only possible if 3 keys are possible already 3 keys are there there is no space so this condition we will call it as a overflow condition if we are finding an overflow condition then what we have to do is that we have to calculate the median what is the median we have to find the middle element <coughs> if the number of elements are odd then can we can find the middle element as the center element but in this case the number of elements are even then this one can be a middle element or this one can be a middle element so based on that one we can split into two ways let me discuss the two ways and then we will discuss the further things so either i can take the let's say that i am taking the median as 6 so if i take median as 6 what we have to do we have to promote it to the parent node so let's say that i am assuming that 6 is the median for this one then 5 will come to the left subtree and 10 and 20 will come to the right subtree 
this is one way and another one is I can take the 10 as the median and I can promote it to the parent node 5 and 6 will come into the left subtree of the 10 and 20 will come to the right subtree so either you can take this one or you can take this one now let me discuss what is these two are so once I have taken median this one I have got this B3 if I have taken 10 as the median I got this B3 so this one we will call it as a right biased B3 why it is called as a right biased B3 is that if you see that the right subtree has more keys as compared to the left subtree so that's why it is called as right biased B3 and this one we will call it as a left biased B3 why it is called as a left biased B3 is in the left subtree we have more keys as compared to the right subtree so that's why this is called as a left biased B3 and this one is called as a right biased B3 so in the any B3 construction either you can take this one or you can take this one but you should not take both meaning is that in some steps you should not take right bias subtree in some steps you should not take the left bias subtree if you have the thought that I will use the right bias subtree you use this right bias B3 for the entire B3 construction okay but don't use right biased and left biased in a single B3 construction okay I hope you have understood what is a right biased B3 and how what is a left biased B3 so we will go for the left biased B3 left biased B3 is that what is the key value I have to take means median value I have to take 10 you can ask me sir why you are going for a left biased B3 is because I am a left hander so always I will go for the left so that's why I am taking the left biased B3 so 10 will be the median 5 and 6 will come into the left subtree and 20 will come into the right one okay now if you see this root can have up to maximum 3 children left one can have up to right one can have up to maximum three children and left subtree can also have up to maximum of three children is it clear can i erase this part now if you see we have inserted up to 20 now i need to insert 8 now where i have to insert 8 8 is less than 10 am i right or wrong 8 is less than 10 so if it is 10 less than 10 then I have to go to the left subtree. Now, left subtree, whether any space is there, yes, space is there, so I can easily insert the 8. So, what is the order I have to insert? 5, 6, 8. Let me discuss again. 8, I need to insert into this B3. So, first I will check whether the, whatever the element you want to insert into the B3, whether it is less than the root node or greater than the root node if it is less than the root node then you have to insert to the left hand side or if it is greater than the given element then you have to insert into the right subtree okay so we have successfully inserted up to the 8 now i want to insert 26 now 26 is greater than 10 okay and greater than 20 so i will insert 26 here so there is no problem there is no overflow condition till now okay then I want to insert 11, 11 is greater than 10, so and less than 20 and 26, so I will insert 11, 20 and 26, okay, and then I want to insert 7, 7 where I have to insert 7, it should be less than 10, so 7 will come here, 7, 8 like this it will come, if I in place them in the increasing order it will be like 5 6 7 8 okay but can I insert like this I cannot insert because any node according to the given order it can have a maximum up to 
three keys but if we are inserting the fourth key then the overflow condition will occur so you cannot insert the fourth element into the leaf node so then what i have to do again i have to find the median because we have gone for the left biased one so in the entire b tree construction i need to go for the left biased one so the median will be seven so i, I need to find the median and promote it to the parent node so seven i have to take and keep it into the this node or this root node okay so if i promote the seven to the root node it will be seven and ten because here also they should be in the increasing order and you have one more space extra and five and six will come to the left of the seven so five and six will come to the left side of the left subtree of the seven and eight is greater than the seven and less than ten so it will come in between seven and ten okay so eight will be right subtree of the seven okay then we have 11 20 and 26 are you able to understand okay 10 will come into means 11 20 and 26 will come to the right subtree of the 10 is it clear why the 8 came here because 8 is greater than the 7 so it will come to the right subtree of the 7 okay so we have inserted till now up to 7 now i want to insert 30 okay 30 is greater than 10 okay and greater than 26 so it will come here but can i insert up here no i cannot insert because the overflow condition will come if the overflow condition will come what should i do i need to promote the 26 to here okay so if i'm promoting 26 to there then 11 and 20 will come to the right of the 10 and 30 will come to the right of this one so if i draw the diagram properly it will be the root node will consist of elements 7 10 and 26 okay the root node will consist of elements 7 10 26 and left of 7 we will have elements 5 and 6 right of 7 you will have value 8 and right of 10 you will have 11 and 20 and 30 will be there okay so we have constructed the b tree of order 4 with the following elements if you see that always the leaf nodes in the b tree should be in the same depth meaning is that from root node they should have the same height so it is satisfied so we have constructed the b tree thank you so much i hope you are understanding my videos if you have any doubts you free sorry if you have any doubts please feel free to ask it in the comment section thank you so much